Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and it's Adventure Jam night. All night, every night this week. Actually, I've since worked this out in my head. It's not all night, every night this week, because Monday I was recording Monkey Island. Tuesday I was recording Adventure Jam, but that didn't come out until Wednesday, so technically I'm behind. I'm actually two days behind, so let's cram in some Adventure Jam games, shall we? This is an Eternity Reflecting by Matt Frith, and I saw some screenshots of this posted on Twitter, and it looked like he had a really interesting art style, like a really, really great looking art style, and an interesting way of getting around the whole cumbersome having to draw character walking animation. So let's just get into it. It's going to be a nice plaintive... Uh, sort of mellow experience, I think. It's been years since I saw him. I missed the rest of that. At least that's what I keep telling myself. In reality, I probably wouldn't recognize him because I murdered his face. The days have felt so much longer as summer and the trip to my childhood home, at least in my head. In her head, she talks very fast. It made me doubt if this was a good idea at all. I should have sat near the aisle. Thinking about it just makes it worse and worse. Maybe he doesn't want to see me at all. Nah, uh, you know what? I'll bet he doesn't. Are my real family in the opposite direction? Did you run them over with a train? I'll find out. I can't spend any more time without answers to many questions. Here is my chance. And this is Adventure Game Studios. Hello, is anybody there? Uh, and it runs in this, perhaps he's out at the moment, it runs in this really weird resolution. Maybe I should have told him I was coming. No, he would have told me not to. So now I'm here in his log cabin. I'll take a look around. I want to learn as much as I can before he returns to his log cabin. Left click to interact, right click to look at inventory items. Oh, so I don't even look at stuff in the room. I just look at stuff and look, fade out, fade in. Easy peasy, I wonder who painted this. It's beautiful. So anyway, yeah, there's, do not adjust your set. There's nothing wrong with your set. Well, it, I, I don't know if there is, but uh, as far as the aspect ratio of this game goes, there is nothing wrong with your set. It is supposed to run in this weird little square resolution. What is it with this year's Adventure Jam and games that run in funky resolutions? There was this, and then it was T for Two, which ran in this uh, sort of vertical phone portrait kind of mode. Interesting. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's interesting. Cassette player. Also, what's with this Adventure Jam and games that take place in the 1980s? Or have hipster characters? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Lovely beret, though, by the way. Wow. Retro. I've not used one of these for years, but I remember playing music on it as a kid. The rest of us used it to, uh, you know, load games on our Commodore 64, but the rewind button is broken. Maybe it's in the uh, uh, ashtray. Nope. Won't even go near it. I remember him smoking when I was little. He always tried to hide it from me, but the smell always lingered. I really hated that smell. That's why I set fire to him to teach him a lesson. Uh, shoe rack, shoe rack. Let's go and look at something particularly uh, nice. I don't need shoes. Okay, fine. We'll raid his fridge. And she does. She actually leaves. Oh, there's a drawing stock to the fridge with the magnet. I noticed it as, as, as I was lounging provocatively against this fridge. I must have drawn this when I was little. Why is it ripped in half, though? I'll take the magnet, too. Okay. You know what? This doesn't sound like he wants... Also, is it her brother? I get the feeling we're not talking like a lover's kind of thing. I think she might be visiting her family, actually. I'm not entirely sure. It was not terribly clear on that. Um... Uh, I went into this thinking, it's a family thing, oh, it's not a family thing, but now it might actually be a family thing, because why else would they, why else would she have a drawing? Maybe they were like childhoods. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? Look at the nice animation on the fan. Too bad it's not clickable. Let's have a look in the, I was going to say bench or sofa. It's, oh, it's a chair. Fine, it's a chair. It's a chair. I will lounge provocatively in front of it. A bit old-fashioned. There's an empty cassette case. I wonder where the cassette is. Probably in the cassette recorder player. Let's just stick our head in the microwave and be done with. Fine, fine. We'll go to the other room. Fade out into the other room. <gasps> Shrine. To me, perhaps? There's a lovely picture of mother here. Ah, family. All right, cool. I have the same one. Uh, look at the flowers, too. They're fresh, freshly picked. Oh, I think they were mother's favorite. But I just had a stroke while I was saying that. Uh, ooh, drawers. Let's go through the drawers. 
Dear old brother drawers. Ooh. Oh, we do get some character animations. What are all these photographs? These are lewd. Hey, this one is me! Ew. Uh, another one from my first day of school. Here's one from the trip to the National Park. Don't remember the name. I don't think we're very welcome here. I don't remember going on that boat, though. That was a long time after I went to live with Auntie's family. Okay, Mom's dead. Brother blames us, I guess? Judging by the number of photos here, it must have been sending... She must have been sending him photos every year. And then he bunged them in a drawer and never looked at him. What's this? A bundle of letters. Unsent. I couldn't read. I shouldn't read these, but I can make them. Uh, Mary, I, you are on my mind every day. It's been so many years since I've seen you. Can I turn the tech speed down, honestly? I'm sorry about what happened. Me too. I'm just, I'm, it's just that you that you remind of your mother's... I, okay. Have I lost the capacity to read? Not that it was your fault. Perhaps it was destined to happen. I miss her. I do love you, though. Never forget that. Thanks. Could you run that by me one more time? Why did he never send these? I grew up believing that he never loved me. One day I went to live with Auntie and that was that. She never really explained to me why. Maybe you were a pain in the ass. I mean, I don't know. I should have come back here soon. Also, straighten up. God damn it. That is not good for your back. He's been hurting all these years. What else is in here? Oh, a gun. Oh, shit. Mostly junk. But I'll take this pencil to rewind the cassette. Uh, the cassette that I don't have, but it is going to be used to rewind a, a cassette. Okay, I'll open the sliding door. I saw this animation on Twitter. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And the lighting that shines in and... Mm, oh, looks a bit overgrown, as if it's been neglected for years. But enough about me. Uh, the garden also looks lovely. Maybe I'll take a stroll around. Hey, does she just close it? No, she'll just take a stroll later. Photo frame. Nice bit of exploration going on. It's him and I sat on a lovely flowery hill and a pretty tree. Did you sit on the tree? God damn. Looks quite subdued for being a lovely day. I don't remember this being taken. I wonder where that tree is. I wish we had more time together. I was four when I went away and never came back. I suppose it's time to make amends. And amends I shall make. The bag's a little loose, but I can't quite get my fingers in there to open it. And now we're in adventure game solving territory. So let's... Uh, fridge, fridge magnet. Stick the pencil in there. I'm gonna stick the pencil in there. See if that does anything. No, nope, that won't do anything. Um, did I just try and use the pencil on the fridge magnet? I didn't mean to do that. I tried right clicking to get rid of the uh, pencil. Didn't seem to work. Also, don't think that will do anything. Now we need something thin and uh, pokey, and it's not in this room. Just doing a quick little sweep for hot spots here. I mean, luckily, the, the, the re oh, event. I'll just look at it from over here. Nothing too remarkable about that. About that. Uh, ah, but I have played under a killing moon, so I know there must be something in the vent that's magnetic. No, don't want to lose anything down there. Fine, can't blame me for trying. So we're dealing with two rooms, I guess. Still nothing about the painting. It is beautiful. Can we turn on the TV? Can we have a look in the vase? Can we do something over here? Shoe rack, fridge, cassette player? I guess not. Uh, could we uh, do something with this? I don't think that'll do anything. I wonder where we'll find the cassette to go in there and listen to the sweet, sweet audio log mystery. Here it is! Must have fallen down behind the cushions at some point. Oh, I had to click on it twice. Label has June 22nd, 1989 written on it. The day before I was born and two days before my mother's death. Okay, so... Label has June... Yes, 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 you just said that. Let's rewind this one. I recall you could use something like a pencil to rewind cassette tapes. Take that, everyone who's played... The, who are not ancient like me and who has never played... Shut up. Right, let's bang it in the cassette recorder and see what happens. Player, whatever. Let's see what is on this cassette. Hello, little one. Your father and I thought we'd record some messages for you before you are born. For no reason in particular. Create some memories for the future. We're also very, very bored. Oh dear, you're restless in there, aren't you? Uh, I think you're ready to come out and see the world. And then the John Hurt scene from Aliens happened. <laughs> 
You're going to love it here. We'll go exploring in the woods and have picnics on the hills. You'll get eaten by ticks and stung by bees. It'll be fantastic. It's so peaceful here. I'm glad we moved away from the city. Your father and I are so excited to share that with you. And the bears. My God, the bears. They'll kill you if you look at them. I want to teach you how to paint. I know you'll be good at it. I can feel it. I'm going to really, really hurt you if you don't paint. Paint, goddammit. You'll never be short of inspiration here. Right, it's your father's turn to record a message for you. I want to take a little walk up to the hill and get some fresh air. Far away from this place. My God, I hate everyone. I don't think I've heard her voice before. <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought that was the dad, but okay. Wish I would have known. Okay, so that's mom's voice. I suppose I did briefly, but I have no memory of that. She died shortly after I was born. Complications in my birth, apparently. I'm sorry I'm reading this very fast, but they talk really fast in this game. She mentioned that hill in her recording. I will take a walk up there. I want to learn as much as I can here while I'm just lounging around their shit. All right, so now we get to go outside the sliding door. There's definitely something about that hill. I'll go take a stroll up there and off we scoot. The path looks a little too muddy to be going barefooted. So we should probably get some shoes from yonder shoe rack. Okay. I'm ready to go outside, but first a celebratory smoke. No? Fine. Off you scoot, milady. I think she was putting on her shoes. She wasn't doing calisthenics or anything, or just like a warm up exercise, but it did look a bit like she's doing a warm up exercise. Also, this tree is blowing raspberries at me. Yeah, little fucker. I'll have you, Mr. Ribbon. It looks like a hair ribbon that mother was wearing in one of the photographs. My god, she's buried under the street. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Oh no. Flowers. We'll pick some flowers. From way over here. There's something familiar about these flowers. Okay, good. Um, would they perhaps like a fridge magnet? I doubt it. Hello, bird. I wonder if it's the same bird as the one in the painting. Hello, little fella. Uh, fuck you, bitch, I'm off! Was it something I said? You said hello in a very weird way, I think. Can we continue from here? No? Well, we've had a look at the flowers and we had a look at the view. Ah, uh, it's glorious here. So peaceful. Long faded memories are returning to me. Like being reacquainted with an old friend. Something missing from my soul. He and I used to spend so much time up here. How could I forget? I could stay up here for hours, contemplating everything. For I am a poet, a philosopher, a person wearing a weird turd on my head. Right, let's go back and have a look at the painting, because I think that might have unlocked something. Having a look at Mr. Birdie. Wait, Bird, what are you doing in there? Scoot, you little fucker. Oh dear, it's making a mess up there. It's pooping on my shelf. Bad bird, bad. Drop the toothbrush and everything. Was I just imagining that? Um, did the bird just disappear? All right, a screwdriver. Okay. Well, we can use the screwdriver on the photo frame, I guess. Get right in there, get in behind. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the screwdriver broke. It was not very strong. At least I can get inside now, but something inside flew off behind me. What's this written on the back of the photo? A cluster amaryllis comes out, I mutter and endure alone. In Japanese, Ashimoto Takako. That's so bittersweet. I wonder why he wrote this here. Is it about mother's death? Or was he perhaps just violently depressed? Is it a message? Yes, everything's a clue. The amaryllis seem important to him. Is that the pretty red flower? I wonder where he picks them. I think they remind him of mother. They couldn't possibly be the same ones we just left behind up on that hill, could they? No, of course not. Now I get to use the fridge magnet on the vent and get my screw back to- Oh, you fucker. Have a look in the vent, please. I think that whatever flew out of the photo frame must have fallen through the vent. Yes! Oh, can I tie the blue ribbon to the fridge magnet? Maybe this will come in handy. And then it is the under killing moon puzzle. Right. Except we're not infiltrating a horror house. At least not as far as we know. Got it. A key. I wonder what this opens. Must be important if it was hidden. Maybe it opens the fridge. I'm getting a bit peckish. 
Uh, was the shrine locked? Uh, flowers freshly picked. They were mother's favorite. Uh, there's a lovely picture of mother. Have the same look at the flowers. They were freshly picked. I think you just said that. Uh, but the key, there's no mention of a locked anything, really. So, I'll fuck off back to the living room. Have a look at that uh, painting. She's apparently mom reincarnated as a skittish bird. I think mom must have painted this. She was so talented. Is, is anything locked here? I don't remember seeing a locked door. I think this is where he picks the amaryllis. The ground looks a little disturbed. Is something buried here? Oh no. Oh no, let's not go there. I wonder what's in this box. It's locked. Damn, well, at least we found a place to use the key. Kind of roundabout way, I guess, but uh, I'm not one looking to... Oh, there's another cassette in here. And something else. A time bomb. Oh, shit. Uh, the other half of the drawing. It's the other half of the drawing I drew when I was little. It's... If the other half is me and mother, then this must be him. This is where I buried him. I am a giant murderer. All right, we'll put them together. We can have a look at the complete drawing all together again. That's fantastic. Okay. So let's go and have a listen to that cassette. Dumpty, 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 dum. Cassette goes in cassette player, not recorder. Very curious about this tape. Why was it buried? Is it still playable? Is it moldy? Is it red? Is it white? Is it promised to the night? Hello, I hope this is on. <laughs> you can see the red light. That means it's recording, dear. You simpleton. Oh, oh, right. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going for a little walk. Bye bye. The little munchkin is restless and I've been sitting far too long. Most of us just call it going to the bathroom, but okay. Be safe, my love. Don't overexcite yourself. Off you scoot. Well, it's just you and me now. I've got a little secret I want to share with you. I haven't told your mother yet. Keep it between us, okay? I have a great idea for your name. Something we'll both love dearly, I'm sure. Cerberus. Oh, I want to name you Mari, after the amaryllis that grow in the hills around here. I'm quite obsessed, you see. That way, even when you're all grown up, we'll still have the flowers on the hill to remind us of you. Okay, I can't wait to meet you and share what we have. You're going to love it, I can already tell. Life has so many possibilities, Mary. Oh, your mother is calling. I better go see you soon, Mary. I never remember him being so positive. Most of the time, he would just beat me senseless. Pelt me with cassette tapes, in fact. So that haiku was about me after all. I was the one that had to endure alone, apparently. Did he feel guilty about that? Did he just run off to see mom die or something? Oh, dad, I was... Well, no, she wasn't born at that point. Anyway, I wish you would have told me how you felt. We've lost so much time. I should have come home long ago. Again, I thought it was the brother she was missing, but okay, okay. Well, we'll talk about it later. We've got so much to reflect on. See you soon. Oh. Well, hello, ghost. Dad, it's me. I'm home. And the game up and quits there. Well, actually, that was very lovely. Um, I know, it, you know, typical me can't watch anything or read anything or experience anything without taking the utter piss out of it. But I actually quite like that. That was that was very endearing. An Eternity Reflecting by Matt Frith. Very lovely. Very lovely art style. Very, actually, you know what we should do? We should go to the voting. Yes, voting of the doom. Now, atmosphere... I gotta say, clearly a five. I mean, the atmosphere is fantastic. Lovely, dreamy pictures, lovely uh, setting, everything. It was just, the music was, mm, I can't can't fault it at all. Characterization, um, I don't know if it was the dialogue or if I was just not fast enough at reading it. I was a little confused as to what I was doing and who I was. I thought first I was going to visit a lover. Uh, obviously not. Then I thought it was a brother. Uh, it turned out it wasn't. It was actually my dad, and my mother was dead. Uh, this all came in, like, bursts of where the protagonist was kind of ahead of me, and then she sort of doled out that information when I was ready for it, but I really could have used that information 
earlier than that. Although I, the, the sentiment of the story is sweet, but the setup left me more confused than it should have. So I'm going to I'm going to four this one. I'm going to give that one a four. Mental engagement. I mean, these were not difficult puzzles at all. It was more of an experience and it, they were not supposed to be difficult. Obviously, it was supposed to be that sort of experience. Uh, I was not terribly mentally it felt more like you know click here to advance the story which is not which is not bad i I've, I've gone on record loving walking simulators but i'm gonna give it a four because uh, uh, if you're gonna do puzzles in a game you know do puzzles in a game if you're gonna do a, an experience a, a story first and foremost then why bother with an inventory and those game mechanics at all so yeah um emotional engagement uh, I, I appreciate the sentiment of the story. Honestly, I do. Uh, I'm going to give it a four because, again, the initial confusion as to who the hell I was and why I was doing there. Um, I, I get the sense that the characters in the story had a lot of emotional engagement, but I was sort of on the sidelines. I didn't feel as invested as I could have. I, I, again, I understand. I mean, we're talking a, two, a game made in two weeks and uh, you can only do so much in that time frame. I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, lasting impression, gotta give it a four. It had an awful lot of potential, and honestly, it was, it was really, really good. I really, really liked that. Um, it just, I, I guess, it sort of, I don't want to say overpromised. I mean, it sounds negative, doesn't it? I, I don't mean it in a negative way. It's just like, uh, it was supposed to be a meditation on something that wasn't entirely clear. It was very clear to the uh, characters in the game. Maybe I'm just a dumbass. That, actually, I think I might actually be a dumbass, but a dumbass votes four on that. So we're going to end on a 4.2. Uh, Matt Frith did an amazing job with the uh, with the visuals. Uh, text speed was a little fast, but the uh, yeah, the navigation, the visuals, the, the, um, uh, the presentation overall, um, top-notch stuff. So uh, cheers on that. I had fun playing this. Well, actually, I had I had a good time. It's fun is it's, it's, it's a weird way of saying it when you've got a game that's about you know debt mom and uncovering secrets in the backyard and uh, you know so I I had I had a good time reflecting for an eternity. So uh, a, a very short eternity, actually. But anyway, uh, please like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do. Do leave me a comment because I quite enjoy the comments. And uh, thank you so much for spending this eternity reflecting with me. I'll see you around the Chrono Street. Bye.